Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review High Rise City. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 25 bucks. There is a 15% discount until March 31st, 2022. So if you like what you see here, you can get the game for slightly cheaper. I do stress Early Access, that means everything that you're about to see is subject to change. So what is High Rise City? Well, I played the demo back during one of the Steam festivals, and I've spent some time with this one here as well. And I'm going to take you through this personally today, mainly because I'm lazy and don't feel like editing video and voice together later. So this is very inspired by City Skylines and SimCity. It's just there's a bit more resource management to worry about. Um, there's New Game Editor, which is great out right now. Options, go ahead and pause the video if you want to see any of this in greater detail, but you'll be able to adjust multiple aspects of this. Uh, one thing I will note right off the bat is that on the default high settings, um, things were just chugging in game and lagging really bad. Uh, so I put everything on medium. I still get the occasional chug, but it's just not as polished as, say, City Skylines right now. So you may have to make some adjustments here. Uh, audio sliders, camera and mouse control stuff there. When you start a new game, you'll be able to choose your map. So I'm like Cape Town, for example. In the upper left-hand corner, it'll tell you what kind of statistics it has, you know, resources. You can name your city. I'll hit just found. And then you can adjust game settings. There's easy, normal, and hard. Um, there's trading, population satisfaction, start condition, start money, uh, economy, build cost, refunding, contracts, research points, and so on. And then you can see there's a sandbox mode as well, infinite resources, should you want to mess with that. Um, but yeah, and then once you hit continue, it'll generate a map. I'll go ahead and load the one that I'm currently working on. That way you don't have to sit there and wait for me to get stuff done. Now keep in mind, I am not that far ahead. Um, I've played for about half an hour, 45 minutes, just, just casually digging around here and there, messing with the interface. And like I said, this game is very inspired by, say, City Skylines in the sense that you start in this very small area, like this map, it's like dotted lines. All the all the the grid is split up via these dotted lines, and you'll be able to start in one little section, and then you can buy more land later on. Um, and just like in City Skylines, as you continue to get population, you'll actually be able to unlock new buildings. So here we are. We're actually loaded now. Um, on the very bottom of the screen is the build menu, like you can build apartment zones. I'll go ahead and just sort of zoom around here so you can see what they look like. So, kind of loud. But yeah, residential zones there. Uh, commercial there. So there's some small offices. There's farms here. Um, things in this game, again, very resource management heavy in the sense that, you know, these these locations will will make these goods that your people will need. So think like, say, I don't know, Caesar or other resource chainy games where people will need stuff. Anno. Uh, if you click on a house, you'll see that House Osborne here needs power, water, garbage, and then consumer goods. There's fish, vegetables, and fruit. I don't have a whole lot of fruit right now, but that's something I'm working toward. Healthcare is a service that they need. Uh, and you can see their tax here, among other things. So each of these locations requires various things. Um, I have a fishery around here somewhere. There it is. So my fishery is down there. Um, in order to build things, not only do you need money, but you need actual resources. Uh, so here's a small lumberjack yard, for example. On the very top of the screen, there's wood and brick right now, and there's more resources that I'll be unlocking over time. Uh, I'm going to click on that little resource button. It's kind of hard to see, um, but you can, uh, you can sort of see what I've got going on. There's wood, clay, brick, tools, fish, fruit, vegetables, and garbage right now. But again, there's more coming. It's just I haven't gotten there yet. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's primarily the interface. Uh, the very top of the screen is more resource management, time controls. There is an RI meter similar to that of SimCity. Like uh, there is an RCI meter in SimCity that told you, okay, you need more residential zones or industrial zones. Again, very small, hard to read kind of thing. Um, upper right hand corner, there's like tool tips and uh, current settings. There's photo mode. You can even like drive vehicles too. I, I, th I know there's a button for it. I just don't remember what it is. Uh, well, there's a let's close that tip. There we go. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So yeah, you can actually drive around in this game and mess around. I just don't remember what the button is. If I hit options, control, free camera is none, photo mode, camera tilt, Reset ve vehicle driving F or I possibly. Let's go ahead and check that out. There we go. So I'm a truck now. Not the most realistic physics, mind you. I can drive through almost anything. Trees don't seem to matter. Buildings don't seem to matter. Just roads. All right, you get the idea. You can drive around, but it's very rudimentary right now, not a whole lot going on. And um, again, as you continue playing this game, you'll level up to the point where, um, oops, did not want to do that. Let's get out of here. You'll level up to the point where you'll unlock new buildings and uh, basically have access to more things. On the very bottom, like I said, there is a build menu. But there's no, unlike uh, City Skylines, there's no indication as to what is uh, uh, locked at this point. So you're just kind of just waiting for the, the next population surge in order to see what you've unlocked past that point. And I, I don't mind the game. It's not bad. But as it stands at the moment, it's just extremely... Again, it's a little buggy, and it's not as polished as, say, City Skylines right now. I would honestly play that game over this one temporarily until this game was a bit more polished and the graphics and things didn't stutter as much. That being said, um, I love the idea of a resource-heavy City Skylines kind of thing where, oh, there's a carrier there. It's going to be transporting goods between different locations. Um, that kind of thing. But um, as it stands right now, this game is just extremely buggy right now. And I just, I wouldn't recommend it in its current state. That being said, I look forward to the day when, you know, this game is going to be a bit more playable and a lot more fun to play. But uh, just keep an eye on this one. That, that's my recommendation. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.